Hi everybody, it's Robbie, and it's a Sunday, and it's a quiet day. So today, since everybody had their own things to do, and I think that was great, it gave me time to work just in the garden. So I started stringing up more of my tomatoes. As you can see, it's going way up. And when I got over here, I saw this old tomato plant from last year was doing so well, and it was going up and up and up. But it was just kind of hanging there. It only had the one pole. And so what I decided to do was to put in those poles, like I've shown you on my other videos, and you know what, I'll try to get that link up, where I zip tie mul multiple poles together. So I can make these garden stakes any size I want. And because of the ridges, there's ridges in these poles, when you zip tie them, they don't slip. You just good, you know, give it a good tug, and it straps on really good, and it works great. Now you just put the zip ties on and make sure you really get it good and tight. String it through. Look at that, you'll hear it zip. Now because of that little ridge there, it's not gonna slide. You can cut that little tag off. And now we'll do the other side. You could put two, you could put three. These things are so cheap. Put as many as you want. Just pull it real tight. It's not going anywhere. The masking tape right now was just to hold it. It's my third hand. But I actually might put one more in there. Here the zip. See it's caught on the ridge there. It's right between the ridge. Same thing here. That's why it's not going to slide. You got it really tight. These poles have ridges. Now, some people said they wanted to use it with bamboo. You probably can because bamboo is not completely the same. So it has, you know, it's not uniform. And because of that, it may work with ban bamboo sticks as well because it's not perfect. If it was perfect, they would just slip. If it was slick, you know, it would just slip up and down. But because of the ridges and even you know branches it would work on branches as well now I can clip that off these are not reusable so once they're on they're on that's it now what I like to do is put a little bit of tape over it basically like suntan lotion just to protect it from the Sun a little bit believe it or not your masking tape will last all through rain and shine all through the season it's not coming off Put it on really good. Cover up the zip ties. You know what, I'll leave that zip tie so you all can see it. Now, because my, I'm, when you have two sticks together or you have a really thick stick, I may have to put two zip ties together. And that is really easy to do. Just get it in the right way. You'll hear the zip. That's the zip. Now you've got an extra long zip tie. It's, you can't go back, don't pull it forward because you can't get it out. But now I have an extra long zip tie to put on to cross beam it. So what I ended up doing was I put a new one across here and another pull here and see here's the zip ties. Now I like to start them sometimes with the masking tape so I know exactly where and how much uh, space I want, you know. So you always want a, a good six, eight inches for stability and then you can put a little piece of masking tape and then you can put zip ties. Now I have a zip tie under here it's just to kind of protect it a little bit from the sun. There's no zip tie here. I should put another one there and then of course there's a zip tie here. See this isn't going to slip. This will last me all season without an issue. Even the masking tape. I'm pulling off masking tape from a year ago and it's still holding tight. So I went ahead and I made the stake exactly the size I needed and it went up there and I strung my tomato plant on it. I mean, I don't know how long this tomato plant's gonna last. It's kind of spindly on the bottom, but the top is just full of tomatoes. I mean, it keeps throwing flowers and look at all the tomatoes coming. And then there's flowers and more tomatoes on the top. So I decided, you know, if this thing wants to live, let's let it live. So I strapped it all along the top using the masking tape. I make those little paper tapes and I go, went ahead and strung it on. And 
for an extra stability, I put another stake there. I did have a six foot stake, so I went ahead and put a six foot stake. Now all this tool, this netting that I put up to protect my zucchinis that's growing in there, that's gonna come off. So I don't, you know, wanna leave that on there. Eventually it will come off, that plant's gonna get too big. And then the baby tomato plants I've had in here, there's a few different types in there. This is all going to be unnetted. Right now, this is just to protect the young plants, and it's done a great job. Nothing has touched it. The squirrels have come around. They've looked at it. The rabbits have looked at it, and it was nothing they wanted to touch. So they left it. So I went ahead and did that. Now what I'm going to do is I've got peppermint growing right over there. And being that I put a stake there, I might as well use that stake. So I'm going to remove some of the peppermint out of that container and I'm going to put in a great big pot one of the big black pots bigger than a floral pot a regular flower pot that you would get a, a large plant in you know from the nursery or a small tree I'm going to set it inside the container because the container all the soil in there is so established and there's earthworms and things in there that I'm going to put a tomato in there a tomato plant and I'm going to let it grow up so it's going to grow up hopefully on this side and then of course I've got that one growing there and then there's going to be some more in the middle and once this is all unwrapped I should have a wall of tomatoes and if it seems like I need more you know strength to it I can add in more poles anytime I want now that I strap them together with the zip ties you know the cable ties it has been wonderful I don't have to worry about getting big ones I can put two three four of them across I make trellises now out of it and then at the end of the season, you just take it all down, put it away, and bring it out when the, you know, the season's right. You're going to start planting again. This is going to be great. Or I can leave it. I can leave it all winter if everything's going to grow. But like I said, this will be coming down. And you'll see here how I put it all up. And it was really fast, really simple. I think the longest part was thinking about where I wanted to put the cable or if I wanted to put a post there or how I wanted to do it, because I kind of walked around back and forth. I did a lot of freshening up in the front yard and planted a few things and moved some things around. And that was the longest part of everything is sitting back, eating some cookies that I made last night and having a glass of ice water out here. I should have made iced tea. And looking at it and staring at it and deciding how I wanted to do it. I was thinking of putting another container on the end and if I can find a container that will fit there I might but for now I think I will drop a tomato plant in with that beautiful peppermint look at the size of those leaves it's so big it smells so good and see I've cleared all this and I've removed I had it triple layered I had that in there and then the blue on top I'm gonna move those and make those into separate plants going to remove some of this and I'm probably going to end up putting this in here with a tomato plant. Doesn't really matter what kind of tomato plant. I'll decide when I'm ready. I think I've got some from seeds I grew and I'll see what I want to put there and get this all set up for tomatoes. This will look really nice. And if I wanted to, I could leave tool wrapped around the bottom and I might do that too. Let me step back so you can see better and see how it's, the, it's kind of like narrow and long. I could leave tool along the bottom just so no squirrels or anything will really bother it. I'm going to kind of decide as I go along. That's what's wonderful about gardening. Change it up. But boy, with the way I do it now with the cable ties, you get yourself three or four foot stakes and you put them together the size that you want. You don't always need a six foot, eight foot pole. Sometimes you need a short one. Sometimes you need it longer than eight foot. And how are you going to drag those things around? This has been wonderful. Look at that. You don't need to put any masking tape on. You can use any type of masking tape, the beige one or the green, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I think it might, I, I don't know, I think it might protect the, the little zip ties a little bit better from the sun because I know the masking tape here, rain or shine, it lasts all season. So I'm gonna get this finished, get a tomato in here, move some of the peppermint into more pots around the yard and see if I can make a trellis of tomatoes. And if I want, I could string one along the middle. And the more I look at it, I might do that. I don't really need to yet, but I might just string. I could either do a short one from here 
to this way or if I want I can go the whole length. I'll have to see how I want to do this. I could even put one in the front if I want. I'll probably do it as the tomatoes grow and I'll see how I need it. But it's just so fast. It's easy and fast and that's what I love about it. It just you put them together in a matter of minutes. You make it the size you want in a matter of minutes. Just so easy to handle and do. Okay, let me go back and get this thing done and see if I can find a tomato to plant in that corner tub. And maybe I'll throw some compost and place stuff that I've already got broke down in one of my other pots or containers. So there it is. It's all done. It literally done in minutes. I've got a center pole now. And again, I used the masking tape as my third hand and then I covered some of the zip ties. I've got zip ties on each end. Remember, you can put two small ones together to make one big one. There's the zip ties there. So now as this tomato starts to grow, I have a stake. I can train it up and as it grows up, it can go across the first trellis there. And it, as it gets bigger, like the other one, it can go across the top one. Isn't that cool? And as far as the netting, when I'm ready, when the zucchini here starts to flower, all I have to do really is either take it off or just open up the top because it's simply folded. See, it's open. I just can drape it open and that would be it. And then the bees can get in there and they can pollinate it and do what they want. I may take the whole thing down. I could drape it down. I could leave it a little bit around. If anything bothers my tomato, where I'm not going to put anything around it right now, but if something does end up bothering it and I have to replace it, then I'll put some tool around that. For now, I'm just going to leave it and see how things go. I've already got flowers starting on that one, but they haven't opened yet. As soon as they start to open, I think I will open this tool up and give this a chance to let the bees in and out. So with that, I think I've had a good day, quiet day today, staking up my tomatoes and getting things ready for tomato season. Have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody.